Hello and welcome to another episode. In this one, I'm going to do something I've been requested to do a few times, and that's make a video about how to change a 12 volt battery. Um, a lot of the EV6s are now over two years old, and the warranty on the 12 volt battery only lasts two years. So if you've not already had some of the problems, then you might start getting problems. So it's worth investing in a new 12 volt battery, I think. I'll also go through how to pick the correct volt battery to replace it with. Okay, and which battery to install? Um, I use the Halfords.com website in the UK. You can put your vehicle registration number in. I'll put a direct link into the battery I recommend. You search on battery and it's already remembered my registration number and you get a choice of the Halfords bog standard one or the UASA uh, HSB 13 B27 and that's got a five year warranty and that's the one I would recommend. So that one, I've seen other uh, people on forums recommend this one as well. Um, Halfords website recommends it so just hopefully it will fit without having to take out the frunk um, as I say, I've, I've, I've done that, the video's up there if you need it. Right, first things first, unplug anything you've got into the car. So like a vehicle to load adapter, even if it's just a stump or your charge cable. Next thing you need to pop the bonnet and the levers down the driver's side just there. Open the bonnet, there's a little catch there. That's a 12 watt battery, and that is uh, one of the big fuse boxes. Um, and the next safety thing you want to do is disconnect the traction battery. This stops any current coming out of the traction battery via the ICCU to try and charge it. I know the car's off, but you don't want to take a chance. So two clips. Then this is the traction battery isolator we should just slightly pull, not hard, it'll just come out. And that's it, traction battery's isolated. To get the battery out, first things first, you've got to take the battery cover off. Then you've got access to the negative and the positive terminals. First thing you disconnect is the negative terminal. Right, tools required, socket set, it's a quarter inch drive one, I've got a 10mm socket and a 12mm socket. The 10 is to take the battery terminals off, the 12 is to undo the clamp that holds the battery and a ring spanner just in case, because these are quite short and you might need them to tighten up. Put that somewhere, that's the battery monitor socket, you, you won't have that, I have. Gently lift this off. Then unclip this one. That's a clip inside. Then you might just want to push that out of the way down there because you've got to pull the 12 watt battery this way once that's undone. This is where your socket comes in. We'll use the end. The extension. Right, once that bracket's undone, only the, this bracket holds it on and it slides this way. Notice that in my case, um, I've got the replacement 
battery that they fitted under warranty and that is slightly wider than this aperture so in my case I've got to take the frunk out which I've already done the, undone the bolts to I'll put a link up the top so you can see how to do that if you have to do it but you shouldn't have to do that because the, the battery it comes with is smaller but as you can see I don't want to tip this over although it's sealed um, I don't want to risk anything coming out of it like battery acid wise so so that ain't gonna come out there without me taking the lid off. Now I've lifted the front out, I can lift the battery out. Now it's, it's, it's held on by that and also it grips on there and the end. So just pull it this way, now it comes. And then put your new one in. Push it that way and that way. And then you, you just put everything back the way it was. Make sure it doesn't move. That should be good. I swap socket, swap socket to the 10 millimeter again. Put the battery terminals back on, um, and then put the positive on. I'll put the battery monitor back on after. This is a bit too short, I'll need to do it with a ring spanner. Negative back on. I'll finish that off with a ring spanner because it's not quite tight. I've got to put that back on afterwards. Place the fuse box over. That's all back on. Right, it's all back in. Just got to put the cover back on the battery now. After you've had the 12 volt battery off, um, the car switches back drive mode, so you'd have to switch back into eco mode if that's, if that's your favourite mode. Also, that screen always changes back to the car. Hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.